Attorney Carla Morton, member of the Star Church, is a new author. She has written a book titled Divine Intervention to Peace. In this book, she tells an authentic story of finding peace in every juncture of life. This novel is bound to encourage and inspire you as you pursue life and purpose. Carla will be having a book signing next Sunday right here at the Star. For more details about this book, you can follow this QR code to her website. Have you been thinking, is entrepreneurship for me? Do you have questions about how to write a business plan or even how to establish business credit? Well, all of those questions will be answered at the Business and Brunch Seminar on Saturday, October 12th at 8.30 a.m. right here at The Star. To register for this event, you can go online to beamintothestar.net or you can go on to starfcu.net. Find the banner that says Business and Brunch and register. At this seminar, you'll learn valuable details about your business from our guest speaker, Terry Drake. So sign up today. If you or someone you know needs member care in a form of a hospital visit, a phone call, mobile communion, or prayer, please contact our member care by going online to beatmetothestart.net, click the banner that says member care, and give us the information we need to contact you. You can also text the word we care to 1-833-270-3616. Again, that's the word we care to 1-833-270-3616. Hey guys, it's that time again for small groups. Are you looking for ways to get more involved here at the Star? Do you have leadership skills and want to facilitate one of our small groups? Well, we're looking for you. Scan this QR code or go online to beatmetothestar.net and click the banner that says Small Group Leadership. We're looking for you. We are continuing to focus on our health right here at the Star. And on Saturday, September 28th at 10 a.m., we have a heal event with guest speaker Doella Thomas speaking on taking care of the temple, body, spirit, and soul. We also have a health panel answering your questions regarding heart health, diabetes, nutrition, and more. This panel includes Dr. Jimmy Dobson, Dr. Lachelle Barmore, pharmacist Pauline Long, family nurse practitioner Domichico French, and moderator pharmacist Jennifer Campbell. We also have vendors, Jefferson County Master Gardeners, Med Plus Pharmacy and Wellness Center, LLC, Another Level with Duello Thickness, and Beachy Mental Health. Again, that's Saturday, September 28th, 10 a.m., right here at the Star. Big God bless you to everybody that has waken up this morning to be a part of this prayer call, whether you're watching us live right now on YouTube or if you're on the conference line. Thank you again for waking up this morning, but I need you to do me a favor. I need you to like this. I need you to share this with as many people as you can and comment on our channel. Now, as you do that, it will send, the algorithm will send notifications that people like you actually will like this video and it can go out to not only your friends, but more people like you so more people can pray with us in the morning. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to Pastor's channel, I need you to do that as well. Hit the subscribe button and then the bell for notifications so every time he goes live, guess what? You'll be notified and you can be on the live with him. Hey, I have a couple of announcements that I want to talk about. In order for you to kind of be in the know here at the Star, there was a text that was sent out this morning to tell you about this call. If you didn't get the text, guess what? You can join our text messaging service by texting the word STAR to 1-833-270-3616. I almost forgot what that was. Again, it's STAR to one 833 270-3616. Okay, I want you to be a part of everything we have going on here at the Star. And that way, every time something new comes up, you will be in the know. Also, we have a couple of things coming up here at the Star. If you are someone that 
has an idea for a small group, wants to lead a small group, or has led a small group in the past, we're still looking for leaders. You can go online to beamintothestart.net. You'll see the banner there that says leadership sign up. It has a QR code there, but hit that banner and it'll lead you to a sign up form and just tell us some of your ideas. Guess what? We have a team that can help you get your group off the ground and give you all the details of what you need to know. We also have a Hill event at the end of the month. So September 28th, there is a Healthy Living Active Lifestyle event. So we've been doing this all year, and we want to continue to focus on our health here at the start. So Saturday, September 28th at 10 a.m. in the sanctuary, there is another event happening, and I want you to be a part of that, okay? And then Sunday at 3 p.m., we're doing something a little different. We haven't done this in a very long time. But Elder Robert Heath Jr. is doing a trial sermon, and we're asking everybody to come to support him. Now, he's ministered before. Just a couple of months ago, he was in Fairfield. But this is his trial sermon at the main campus. And do we love Elder Heath? We do. He's been a long-standing member and leader at the start, and we want everybody to come out and support him, okay? I think that's all of my announcements. I really want to get into prayer right now. Um, So let's just get started. Let's just jump right into it. Father God, we thank you for your power, your strength, and your anointing. Thank you for waking us up this morning, God, to give us another opportunity to get it right. Another opportunity to give you all the praise. Another opportunity, God, for us to recognize you for who you are. Father, a lot of us is on a call today, and we have issues in certain areas, but we want to stop and recognize you for being bigger than any problem we could ever have. Father God, we thank you for sending your son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins, God. And I thank you, God, that now we can approach your throne when we ask for that forgiveness. Father God, we want to be pure when we address you. And I pray, God, that you allow us all to be in right standings with you, that our hearts are right, that our our hearts are positioned in a right way, God, that when you hear our prayer, you actually move. Father God, we have some people that are hurting this morning. Even as prayers are going through the chat, God, I pray that you, in your sovereignty, would hear the prayers of your people that you send your ministering angels down to where they are, God, and do what only you can do. Father God, I pray for change in their lives. I pray for your anointing in their lives. I pray for your finances, God. I pray for your wisdom. I pray, God, that you will make the difference. Father, I know in your word you've given us story after story to where the, uh, the deck is stacked against the person until you come along and bless them. Some of us feel like, God, that the stack has been stacked up against us, like there's no way out. There's nothing we can do. But, God, call on you. And we're corporately praying right now that you meet the needs, God, of your people that feel like there's no way out. There's nothing else they can do. All they can do is just wait on you, God. I pray that you will make the difference. I pray, God, that you will make the difference with a single parent, a single mom, God, that is trying their very best to raise their children and to work and to supply financially for her family. I pray, God, that you'll touch him, that you'll touch her in an awesome way, God. Let them know that you are there, that you know what they're going through, and you want the best for them as well. Father God, I pray for our husband and wives that may be struggling this morning, God. One of them may be on a call, the other is not on a call. Father God, I pray that you touch the hearts and minds of married couples, God. And as they are focusing on you, God, and they're focusing on getting their spirit right individually, God, they can also be turning towards each other as they turn towards you. Father God, I pray that you do, that you can move in our marriages, you can move, Lord God, in our finances, that you can move, God, in our health as well. Father God, I just pray that your power is made strong as we corporately pray and intercede for one another. 
Father God, yes, there's some that are uh, doing very well. I pray, God, that as they are doing well, that they're finding ways to see back into your kingdom. They're finding ways to give back to others. They're finding ways to pray for other people so that they can make a difference, that they can be a tool or instrument that you can use to help somebody else. And I pray, God, for the star. I pray for pastor. I pray for Candace, God, that you would continue to build them up, that you would continue to trust us with people coming on a weekly basis, God, that you continue to send people to the star that may be a help to what we're trying to do on, on the east side of Birmingham in Pell City and Forestdale and in Sylacauga. God, we give you all the glory for what you have done at the start and what you are doing. And I pray, God, that you continue to do more. And as you are doing it, God, and as you're making moves at the start, and we're able to recognize the growth because of you, we give you all the glory for it. Give you all of the glory, God. In your son Jesus' name, I say this prayer. Amen. Amen. Oh, my goodness. What a way to start the morning in prayer corporately together. And I thank you for everyone that's put uh, comments into our comment section today or even prayers in the comment section. I know that even as you are writing them, God sees them and he can make the difference. I do have a devotional thought today that I want to um, give as we are waking up this morning. If you haven't did this already, of course, I want you to stay in the know. And one of the ways you can stay in the know here is by texting the word STAR to one 270 3616 I want you to do that. And if you haven't already shared this, I need you to like, share, and comment on this channel. And again, that helps us get the information out about what we're doing on this YouTube channel and on our prayer line. Amen. Great. So for a devotional thought today, this is one of the things that man, it was several years ago. It may have been uh, the pandemic always throws me off when I think back in the past, like what the years were. So I'm going to say about five or six, maybe seven years ago, Pastor did a series called Foundations. I know if you guys remember Foundations, you got to go look Foundations up on our YouTube channel, okay? I'm telling you, it was a really, really good message series that he did. But I remember when he went through the, um, the series of the Matthew chapter 5 and chapter 6. But one of the things, as I was doing some studies on what he talked about, it always stood out, and I always kind of used it in my own private time to go back and read that so I would understand what he was saying, but keep it in my memory as well. Well, as I was going back and looking at some of that, I ran into the scripture, Matthew 5, 28. And I'm going to start with that, and then I'm going to backtrack. But this is something that God has, is saying that I think is really cool, and I want you to hear. He says, <laughs> this is the first time that I remember seeing this. Okay. Therefore you shall be perfect just as your father in heaven is perfect. Okay. Now I'm actually reading this out of the new King James version, but King James version says that uh, NIV version says that therefore you should have you, I, this is Jesus talking here and he's saying that you could be perfect. It's like strict man. What are you talking about? Like, what is this? It would be perfect stuff. I'm telling you, Matthew chapter five, verse number 48 says, therefore you shall be perfect just as your father in heaven is perfect. Now we all want to be perfect, but we all live here on earth in these human bodies with this flesh, right? And we know how difficult it is to be perfect. What is Jesus talking about that we can be perfect? I want to tell you how you can be perfect just as your father is perfect. And I want to start with verse 43. You've heard that it's been said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. Verse 44, but I say to you, this is Jesus talking, love your enemy, 
Bless those who curse you. Do good for those who hate you and pray for those who spiritually use you and persecute you. I just paused there so you guys can think about that in your mind. Like, what is he saying? Love your enemy. All right, so love, bless those who curse you, do good. So that's the action. Do good for those who hate you and pray. <laughs> How often do we do this, right? Pray for those who spitefully use you. I don't know if I said that right. Spitefully use you and persecute you. All right. Now, I wrote it down. Love, bless, do good, and pray. Love, he says, to love, to bless, bless you, to do good. That's an action. I got to do good for somebody who hates me, and then pray, like pray to God that God does something in their life for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. That you may be sons of your father in heaven. Why well, am I trying to be sons of my father in heaven? Because in 48, he says, therefore, you shall be perfect just as your father is perfect. I'm going to go back to verse 45, that you may be sons, all right, sons and daughters. I put that in there. This is for men and women of your father in heaven. He makes, oh, this, is, this, is, this is cool now, because Jesus is now justifying what he's saying, okay? He's justifying what he's saying right here in verse 45. For he makes the sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the just and the unjust. 46, for if you love those who love you, what reward have you don't even the tax collectors do the same and if you greet your brother only what do you do more than others don't even the tax collectors do so verse 48 therefore you shall be perfect just as your father in heaven is in, is perfect how can i be perfect he says it Starting in verse 43, he says, love your enemy. He says to bless, do good, and then to pray. And these are for not people that are good to you, but your enemy. People that curse you. People that hate you. People that spitefully use you and persecute you. And Jesus had to go to the cross. And they said, take Jesus. And the same people that were saying crucify him are the ones that he was being crucified for. He gave his life for those people that were saying crucify him. I'm giving you this because it's new to me as far as it being shown to me here where Jesus is saying we can be perfect like our Father in heaven is perfect. Now, of course, you know we miss it. There's tons of, way we, tons of ways that we miss it. But this is something he said you could be perfect in like your Father in heaven is perfect. To love, to do good, which is an action, okay, to pray and to bless. Let me say it in order. To love, to bless, to do good, and to pray. I think that even on the prayer call today, we should have some clarity on some of this. And another scripture says, I want you to love your neighbor not as Jesus said, love your neighbor as I have loved you. He gave his life. Now, in some ways, we can struggle with giving. Like, okay, like, how far, God, do you want me to give? Well, he gave an example. He gave his life for his neighbors, which included us. And thank God that he gave his life because that's how 
we're able to make it to heaven through him. You can be perfect. Will we miss it? Yes. What do we do if we miss it? Let me just say it this way. We ask God to forgive us for our sins. Okay? And for those things that we know we ought not do, we should repent from those evil ways that we have, turn to God, and live right. He told the adulterous woman that was caught in sin to go and sin no more. That's what he wants us to do. You can be perfect. Jesus said, just as your father in heaven is perfect. Now, if we say, well, I can't be perfect, what are you striving for? There is a limitation that we have in our flesh. I completely understand that. So does he. There, he says his grace is sufficient. But if we don't strive to love, to do good, to bless, and to pray, then what are we doing? If I'm not striving per, for perfection, and then when I miss it, I fall, I get back up. Some of us are living down on our knees. Like we've fallen, we've fought, we fell, and we haven't gotten back up. Tell me I'm striving for the Lord. No, get back up. Love your enemies. Bless them, do good, and pray for them. And exemplify what, our, what God is in heaven. Jesus made it simple. He says that God makes it rain on the just and the unjust. That the sun rises on those that do good and those that do evil. Let us be able to love people that don't love us. And let us see that love actually work to our benefit. I believe it'll work. I believe we can win some people over through love. I believe that in this era where people can be so divisive, either you on one side or the other, I believe we can win people over through just loving on them. Even what our differences, we can still love. Oh, man, that's my time for this morning. I hope that helps somebody. Uh, again, that's Matthew chapter 5. I started with verse number 43, and it went all the way down to 48. 48 just kind of threw me a full loop. I want to be perfect. And he's saying one way you can be perfect is to love, to bless, to do good, and pray for those people that have done evil, that are your enemies. And if we do that, we can be perfect like our Father in heaven is perfect. Father God, I thank you for this word today. I thank you, God, that you could challenge us in the word, challenge our thinking, challenge who we are at our heart, that how can we love like you loved? How can we bless people like you've blessed people? How can we do good even, God, if we just remember before our conversions, how we were to you, how disobedient we were, how sinful we were, and you still allowed your spirit to come within us, and you've called us out of darkness and into your marvelous light. Allow us to have your heart to people that haven't done us right, that are enemies, that spitefully use us, and that persecute us, God. Allow us to look like you. In your son Jesus' name, I say this prayer. Amen. Amen. Hey, guys, I really do thank you for being on today. And not only that, I want to thank you for how you've been giving through the star. It's been phenomenal what you guys have been able to do, and I pray you continue to do that. And there's several ways that you could do it right here. First of all, you can actually come up to the church at any time. Go up the front stairs in the the Birmingham campus, turn to the left, and on the brick side of the building on the right, there's a drop box that you can use 24-7. You can also go to the church during business hours, 9 to 4, Monday through Friday, and you can use our kiosk inside of the lobby. You can mail any gift to 7400 London Avenue, Birmingham, Alabama, 35206, 
or you can go online to beatmetothestar.net forward slash give, and you can give online. You can text 855-912-7781. I have to remember that one. I hadn't said that one in a while. You can also give through uh, Cash App, dollar sign Beat Me to the Star, or Benmo at Beat Me to the Star. Hey, guys, it's been a blessed time today. I will see you at 12 noon today at our noon Bible study. Don't miss it.